Sure. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is, did you see this post I made on our Facebook page about the the fired the headline from NewJersey.com or NJ.com, New, which is a New Jersey local news rag or whatever. Fired social media manager goes rogue on New, NJ.com's New Jersey City's TikTok account. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I'm, see, I'm seeing that now. So I have the article up. I, I don't know if... Um, if uh, if Nathan will put it up on the screen for us, but um, Graham Colligan was posting quaint video on Summit Diner just months ago promoting the local business. But in the past few days, the tenor of his TikTok posts posts changed significantly. Suddenly he was spouting off about his least favorite New Jersey malls, the high cost of local homes and alleged mistreatment by his former employer. But this wasn't his personal account. The posts shared by at Summit Downtown emerged weeks after Colligan says he was fired from his job as social media manager for Summit Downtown, the nonprofit organization that represents businesses in the Union Union County Cities Downtown Special Improvement District. What do you think about, about that? I got I got things to say, but I want to hear what you have to well, say. Well, I'm uh, yeah, so I've got lots of things to say about that. So, so my first initial reaction is going back to your earlier segment about uh, control and single sign-on and stuff. There's your perfect example, right? You you give your keys to the castle to the social media person who's going to help you run your account. You better have a system to on termination make sure that that person no longer has access to those accounts. Um, that so is, that's, that's my first reaction. Definitely a failing of HR. If there's an HR function and, you know, it's, it, it's the public sector. So I don't know how much of this was a contractor by the public, you know, by the, uh, you know, a municipality hiring a contractor and what their process is, but yeah, definitely a failing in that. Yeah. And then, and it looks like he did know that it lo- looks like, I mean, it wasn't like a mistake. Cause you know, you can, you can have two or three different accounts on TikTok and Instagram, and it is possible to post something to the wrong account. But this makes it very clear that he did know what he was doing. So that's that's the gem. That's the yeah. gem. I'm glad you zeroed in on that. So that's yeah. the gem. The town says that they are not pressing charges. And I want to make this comment too. His apparent commandeering of the summit account where the stated description was uh, where. Nancy Adams, executive director of Summit Downtown, addressed the off-brand TikTok post Thursday when reached by NJ Advanced Media. Quote, Summit Downtown Inc. has deleted the content posted on our TikTok account by a recalcitrant former employee. That's a really cool word. Yeah, I like that. Um, he has been he has been advised that further action will be taken if he attempts to access the social media channel or any SDI platform in the future. But here's the thing. He's committed a federal crime, right? Yeah. Will, will, willfully. Do you know what crime? Do you, do you know what he's in violation of federally? Well, so. It's so not cited in the news article. Dis- and I, disparage I, I, his, did he disparage his, his previous employer? Or was he just complaining about other things? N- no, there's a very specific thing here. And this is, this, this is the reason why I'm, not giddy about this, but this, I deal with this on the regular for Mm -hmm. our clients. Okay. The computer abuse and fraud act Mm. of 1986. Okay. Stipulates very clearly. And there's just one provision here. The, and this is from sciencedirect.com. It's the first Google listing, uh, or actually Google's giving me a Wikipedia on the sidebar here. Um, but there's one, I'm going to read it from sciencedirect.com right on the listing here. The, the computer fraud and abuse act of 1986 makes it a crime for anyone to access without authorization, a computer or computer system used by a financial institution, U S government agency, or any organization or individual involved in interstate or form, uh, foreign commerce or communication. Mm-hmm. So it's just logging into the system so like you can have your access revoked by virtue of your being fired and the password doesn't have to be changed if you if you willfully regain access to that system after your your explicit um authorization has been revoked that's the crime Hmm. that's the crime and that's what protects businesses and has been protecting businesses so to speak from 
pissed off employees and IT managers that you get fired, it is a federal crime to access the system. Even if even if, if you know they haven't changed your password yet, even if they even you have your mail on your phone and you've been sent an email to your company email saying, hey, you're no longer a, a part of this company. You, 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 you've been terminated mm-hmm. is you, you have to remove that account from your phone, even though they may not have disabled your access. Yeah, no, oh, that's interesting. I mean, it, it makes sense. I'm, I'm, it probably comes up much more than uh, than it probably should. But um, I mean, it amounts to trespassing and digital trespassing, I guess. But yeah, um, you yeah, know, it, it it has been tr- it is a, it is a federal crime. And then um, all almost all 50 states also have a similar statute. So yeah. he's actually in violation of a state crime and a federal crime just by logging in. So, Hmm. you know, I hope the authorities, regardless of what um, the town of Summit, New Jersey wants to do, I think that, uh, you know, for me, I think the authorities need to take action, make an, you know, not to make an example of, but just continue to um, hold people like this accountable because Mm -hmm. you you see this every couple of years, an IT manager, pissed off IT manager leaves, you know, or, yeah. or an IT underling who, you know, in, in order to give control of a per- person's particular work product, you have to give them, you, you have to expose the, the, the company. You, you inherently have to expose the company so that they can work on your company. Right. Um, there's no, there's no other way around that. Um, so the bar is really high, and I think the I think the legal, in my opinion, I'm just offering you my opinion. The, the I think the authorities need to continue to press. I mean, this this is like an open and shut case. I mean, the guy was posting on the TikTok saying and boasting that he was fired. Right. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. Um, what if <laughs> just having some fun here? What if this is all some elaborate ruse? And they've gained a thousand followers because this guy's making a clown, and so suddenly somebody's they're getting a thousand followers because they're watching this thing unfold and it comes out in a week that well he wasn't really fired this was just for trying to gain our our followers i don't think that's the case but that is you never know these days that would be funny that is definitely the sort of um social media tactics that that have definitely happened to grow followers and to get to get headlines i don't think i don't think municipalities are that no, no. enterprising or or um yeah, I don't think there. I don't think municipalities and city councils are that enterprising. But I don't uh, think so. But um, um, yeah, it's still fun to th- fun to think about. Um, and so, does it matter if this is his? Well, it's obviously his own phone, right? Because he 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 kept it with him. But well, that um, that's the thing. It doesn't. It it's accessing a computer system, and it's a broad term. So yeah, right. the the device from which you connect, if you try to access somebody else's server, I mean, it could it could even be interpreted that if like, if you tried to go to somebody's website and there I've seen in, um, in the past, some stretches and, and uh, I think some cases have explored the limits to what this means. Mm. Um, so it, here's, here's the TikTok, Nate. If you've been fired, it's, it, it's unto you to stop accessing your former employer's computer systems. Otherwise, you are in violation of a federal crime and uh, state crime. So it's don't use that, Nathan. That was a that was a that was a, a weak TikTok. But <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah. Well, and this this could go back to you know device management and that and that kind of stuff. There's that's one of the perils of having people use their personal device to access company company accounts. And again, I'm not putting it back on this. I'm not saying that the employers at fault or referencing this case too, but uh, you know, nobody wants to walk around with two cell phones in their po- pocket and you know, the whole bring your own device sort of thing. But if somebody gets terminated and, and the company didn't disconnect their email and they're still getting emails pushed to them, it's uh, to their own personal device. Uh, yeah, I mean the the employers and the the provider, you know, the, the employers and the agencies that are that are managing people and accounts. And uh, in this context, I don't want to say employer because it was the town that hired a media company, yeah, yeah, contra- right. which was a contractor, and it was their employee. Mm-hmm. Um, but still, that company has to have checks and balances 
uh, and processes, documented processes in place for incoming and outgoing employees. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's that's the imperative there. Um, in this case, that the, the town had a reasonable expectation to think that their contractor was managing that appropriately. Right, right. Yeah. And a lot of those social media things, when you change your password or something, it'll say, do you want us to um, log out on all your devices, that sort of thing. So, yep. so they, they are set up to, to work for this scenario, but uh, yep. just, this is the new era that we're in. He was, yep. you know, he was that was 100% wrong here in this, in this scenario, of course, but that doesn't mean that there aren't steps the employer should take to prevent this kind of stuff. 